Hello, this is the first episode of making a simple logger in C++. Episode 0 was all about planning, so if you haven't seen that already, check it out. Uh, I also showed the result that we're gonna get um, by the end of this first episode in episode 0. And I also talk about log priority levels, so if you don't know what that means, definitely uh, check episode zero so in this episode we're gonna implement a logger that logs uh, messages to the console uh, and i'm gonna be using visual studio but um, any c plus plus compiler should work so here i've got a an empty project i've just i only got main.cpp and just prints out the name of the logger your logger that's what i called it and let's create a uh, header file and it's gonna be only just a header file uh, let's grab no ones class logger uh, this class is gonna be static which means every field and every method of that class are gonna be static so when using this logger we won't have to create an instance of a logger we just say logger say info like that so we don't have to instantiate anything uh, so make so let's make a private find it let's define an enum local priority uh, trace debug info warn error and critical okay now let's define uh, the methods define a static void set priority a method it's gonna take log priority So with this, the user of our logger can change priority. So also since, oh, I forgot to, and also we have a static variable, and that means that we have to actually initialize it outside of the class body. So we're gonna do it here. Uh, we do that like so. We remove static and add a class namespace. And by default, it's gonna have an info priority. Now let's uh, define functions, actual log functions. And each log level is gonna have its own separate function. So trace. What we want to be able to do is have logger trace. So we want it to support a variable number of arguments. And we're going to do that by using a veridic template. And so it's going to take const char. So basically what this means is that we can only supply message to the function and additionally we can have zero or more arguments. And, and then uh, we check priority. So basically we check if the current priority is less or equals to trace priority. So for example, if info priority is set, trace messages will not be actually logged. And then we're gonna use um, uh, the 
io.h for printf we're gonna print out to the console using printf so first we're gonna indicate a priority a level trace and then you could just have a couple of spaces but i'm gonna use backslash t which means uh, it's a tab now we print out a message and supply our arguments so basically that's why we had those arguments to supply them into printf function and then we and then we just print a new line character okay so let's implement the rest of the block functions so debug So here six uh, fun log functions for uh, each priority they are basically the same they just uh, check for different uh, priorities in here and yeah and have different uh, uh, level indicators yeah, as you can see uh, those two lines of code are the same for every function and we could just make uh, a separate function for those two but since it's just two lines we're not gonna create a separate function okay so let's first um, so let's test this out Okay, so we see info, 5, John, warn, error, and critical. Yeah, uh, the reason why trace and debug were not printed is because by default we have uh, info priority set. Uh, let's set, uh, set priority to uh, trace. Now they all should be, yeah, here you go, and it all seems to be working fine, and it will work fine for programs that only have uh, one thread, but for multi-threaded uh, programs uh, there will be a problem, say, so for example, let's create array of 10 threads and create a function to test this with uh, log test and it's gonna take uh, int n and it's gonna print out info. it's gonna print this n So we just start 10 threads and uh, each thread calls function and passes i. So as you can see uh, here it seems to be working 
all right the second thread for example here in executed faster than the first one but that's okay but here is the problem where you see the message the lock message gets split and this example here also we've got a bunch of splitted messages and that's because our logger is not thread safe and it happens because here for example we print three times to the console and between this print and this print on another thread uh, something can be printed in between those we can solve this uh, by locking by using uh, new tags which is basically So here, for example, we use std scoped lock, uh, lock and we're gonna have this in every function. So basically what this means, uh, uh, mutex uh, is an object uh, which th uh, thread can lock, this thread takes uh, kind of control of that mutex. So and this basically ensures that until we get out of scope, so until we execute those three um, printfs, uh, no other thread is gonna be able to do so okay um, oh scoped lock is available since C++ 17 so uh, we have to use uh, that standard uh, in Visual Studio you can basically go to properties to project properties and in C++ C++ in language C++ language standard and here I can choose C++ 17 um, log mu oh yeah I forgot to initialize it because it's a static variable um, So now as you can see our logger is thread safe and I also am getting a an exception because we need to join them before actually returning. As you can see now it all works fine uh, even for multi-threaded uh, programs. That said in the next episode we're gonna be implementing uh, the logging to the file and also we're gonna implementing timestamps right because right now we just log messages we don't have time so yeah thanks for watching bye